Hello everyone, this is Professor Raghavendra Dhyapak, KLS Gokhti College of Commerce, Belagavi. So, in the last class, we studied about the technical analysis. Okay, so in that, we study what is technical analysis and what is the Dow theory and its principles. Correct. So, in today's class, we are going to start with the next concept called price chart okay so while studying the technical analysis we studied that technical analysis use the different charts and graphs to measure the trends of the prices okay with the help of past data correct so which are the different price charts or graphs we used in the technical analysis that we are going to study under this chapter okay so first we'll see what it says price chart is a basic tool used by the technical analyst to study the share price movements okay the prices are plotted on x and y axis of the graphs where the x axis represents the trading days and y axis denotes the prices okay so price chart mein kya hai? we use for this technical analysis to study the प्राइस मोमेंट्स जो कुछ भी प्राइस के मोमेंट्स हो रहे हैं फ्रॉम द लास्ट वन ईयर और फ्रॉम द लास्ट वन वीक और फ्रॉम द डे टू डे चेंजेस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्राइस मोमेंट वी यूज दिस चार्ट्स ओके सो इन दिस चार्ट देयर विल बी टू एक्सिस आई थिंक यू ऑल नो दैट एक्स एक्सिस एंड द वाई एक्सिस ओके सो ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस वी प्रेजेंट द ट्रेडिंग डेज डे वन डे टू डे थ्री और मे बी वन वन सेकेंड मंथ थर्ड मंथ लाइक दैट that represent the days and y axis denotes the prices so share ke price mein kya changes ho rahe right first day it was 100 next day it is 120 next day it is only just 80 so like that whatever changes are there in the prices that will be represented in the y axis okay so basically we use the three types of charts for the technical analysis okay so they are one is line chart second one is bar chart and third one is japanese candlestick chart okay so now we will see one by one these charts first one is line chart okay so line chart is the simplest price chart in this chart the closing prices of the shares are plotted on the x and y graph on the day-to-day -day basis okay the closing price of the each day would be represented by the point on x and y graph all these points would be connected by a straight line which would be indicate the trend of the market okay so what this is that in this we plot the closing price of that particular day closing prices okay at the end of the first day what was the price see here in the chart at the end of the first day price was 100 at the end of the second day it is just 50 at the end of the third year 300 so like that that prices will be pointed and once we mark the point then we connect uh, those points by which the line chart will be get ready and we can see the trend of upwards and downward movement you can see in this chart right so on the first rate was 100 then comes to down to 50 then again rise to 300 then again fall then again rise like that it is a moment what we can see in the line chart and by visually you can say that yes at presently there is a growth in the markets or market price of the shares correct so like that we can predict or assume the future with the help of line okay next is bar chart it is the most popular chart used by the technical analyst in this chart the highest price the lowest price and the closing price of the day each day are plotted okay on the day to day basis kya kya measure karte hain hum highest price and the lowest price okay and at the end of the day closing price us day ka jo kuch bhi closing price tha wo bhi hum yahan karte plot karte okay a bar is formed by joining the highest price and the lowest price of a particular day a vertical line the top of the bar represent the highest price on the day the bottom of the bar represent the lowest price of the day a small horizontal hash on the right of the bar is used to represent the closing price of the day okay so here we have 
we plot first highest then lowest okay highest and lowest then we plot a hash of the closing price okay so this price is highest price okay that indicates this is what lowest price okay so we draw a straight line by connecting the highest point and the lowest point okay so at the end of the day we also mar mark the what closing price okay so this is how bar chart represents or indicates okay next is japanese candlestick chart okay the japanese candlestick chart shows the highest price the lowest price the opening price and the closing price of the shares on the day to day basis okay so last may humne kya kiya tha sirf closing price liya tha correct so yahan pe kya hai highest plus lowest opening plus closing charo indicators ko kya karte hai use karte hai okay the highest price and the lowest price of the day are joined by vertical bar correct like the same in the last bar chart how we connected the highest and lowest same here also they will connect the highest and lowest okay next what it the opening price and the closing price of the day which will be fall between the highest and lowest price would be represented by a triangle okay so you can see the in that chart okay so you can see some the square boxes between the line correct black color box white color boxes correct so that is what the opening and closing price that will indicate in the form of rectangular okay so by seeing this chart we can say that those are looks like a candles correct so for that only it is called as japanese candlestick chart okay so basically this is a technique developed by the japanese so we can say that it is a japanese candlestick chart okay next is trend and trend reversal so what is a trend so the trend is the moment of share prices in the market when the price moves upwards it is a rising trend okay or upward trend when the prices moves downwards we can say that falling trend okay agar share ka prices increase ho raha hai then will be a upward trend upper kya hota hai upper side movement hota hai if the prices are falling then downwards movement will be there okay so the change in the direction of the trend is referred as a trend reversal so jo kuch bhi trend ka directions mein changes hota hai so that is known as trend reversal okay a share that exhibits a rising trend may start to move narrowly or fall after some time okay so abhi ek share prices hai starting kya ho raha tha increase hota hai and slowly it start falling okay so this change in the direction from upward to downward or movement in the price direction is known as the trend reversal okay in this picture you can see that first is rising trend line right see how their prices are rising correct next is flat trend line means there is no rising or there is no falling also it is constant correct in the third line we can see that falling trend line where the prices are started falling slowly okay so this is about the trend reversal and trends okay next is support and resistance so what is support and resistance support and resistance are price levels at which the downward trend or upward trend in the prices movements are reversed support occurs when the price is falling but become bounce back okay or reverse direction every time it reaches a particular level when these low points are connected by a horizontal line in the form of support line that is known support line okay for example what this is here you can see a picture we can clearly understand that support and resistance level what they are trying to tell this is that support occurs when price is falling but bounce back kahan pe price kya ho raha hai down ho raha hai right it's falling but immediately it's what 
rises after certain level that is known as support level okay so here so in this chart you can see here in this point prices are falling but immediately after that it start rising correct so this is known as support level okay next is resistance resistance occurs when the share price moves upward okay the price may fall back every time it reaches a particular level a horizontal line joining these points is known as resistance level okay prices yahan pe kya hota hai resistance occurs when the price moves upwards and fall back okay so yahan pe dekho teen lines upward hai next bhi upward hai next bhi upward hai but start immediately it start falling okay up hota hai fall hota hai like that in this level there is a resistance okay so this is known as upward or these levels are known as support and resistance level okay next is head and shoulder formation okay head and shoulder formation occurs at the end of a long period of uptrend this formation exhibits a hump or top fold by the still higher top or peak and then another hump of the lower top this formation resemble the head and two shoulders of the man and so this is named as what head and shoulder formation so you can see in the picture so this trends we can say that ups and downs will be there right so when we join in a single line this trends like this is a neckline okay so this is a one peak or the highest upward movement is just like a head okay represent as a head and these two small triangles or we can small movements of the price we can say as it as a shoulders right shoulder and left shoulder and this is the neck line okay so this is looks like it's men's head and these are two shoulders correct so for this this chart is known as head and shoulder formation okay so this is about the different different charts and graphs which are used under the technical analysis remaining part we will see in the next class